On this video we are going to talk a little bit more about the V11Y that I have fully disassembled so I could put a much better tire and now so you could see closely all these little details that makes the V11Y a massive improvement compared to what you could get inside the Emotion V11. If you want to know that and more, stay tuned after the intro. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love tech and if you love discounts, this is the place for you. And today we will be talking about all these little parts that you see here on the table and all the things that I found different on this wheel when I was just disassembling. And I can say to you guys that the V11 have a lot of small details that they are worth it to talk about. So one of the things that always irritate me with all the pedals that I have is the fact that you always have a bit of a hole here and with time with the water and with dust they will start to get stuck inside and when you need to use your tools to try to remove your pedal it's quite tough to do it. So Emotion have thought about it by putting two big pieces of rubber in both ends of your axle so in other words will stop the dust to go in and also on top of it you will have another piece of metal same material of your pedals that will be covering that end so in other words there will not be any more dust going inside your pedals so as you can see this bit is the same material of the rest of the pedal so this is pure metal that you'll screw with two screws on here so they will not come off also these two pieces of rubbers they are here to reduce the dust but to bring a functionality. So first of all, as you guys can see, the axle is not completely round. So one of the faces is like a straight line here. So when you close the pedal, the rubber will be in this position. But in the moment that you try to open the pedal, the axle will move, the rubber will stay in the same place, and after, basically the pedal will have tendency to go back to the original shape so in other words basically the pedals will have always tendency to close by itself that's a feature that i like but in the same time it upset me a bit because the pedal doesn't completely close and also doesn't completely open but the fact that you'll have these two covers on the ends of your pedals is definitely a plus for me another thing when i completely disassemble the wheel I noticed that these two screws here on the bottom that normally they were broken on this version and believe me this is not the first not even the second time that I open a V11 this is basically just from my wheels this is the third V11 that I open and normally those holes they had a cracked plastic another thing that you may think about it is to do an upgrade on your wheel just passing from a v11 to a v11 y is it possible can i continue to use the front light and the back light i have to say that the design is slightly different because the motherboard is longer and i'll show you that in a second but they made also this plastic slightly shorter and also the shape of the plastic is different so when we talk about the pedal hangers they are completely different from the ones that you find on the v11 so now on the v11y they are much shorter because on the old generation you have a bit more of metal here these screws that they are here now they used to be here so not having this piece of metal allows in motion to drop this down and makes that the pedals they'll be closer to the floor so definitely a cool design that you have here another thing that we can talk about is about this screw that just in motion normally have on them but they also have done something different so on previous generation this hole in this case the screw that will be here were much closer to the surface of the metal so in other words the dust and water will be much much closer to that screw making that with the long term you have more difficulties to remove it because the screw is been taking a lot of mud and water so what they've done now is that the screw you fit it from this side but will have to basically pass through this until you reach the axle that will sit in here so in other words you have more chances to avoid water hitting constantly that specific screw damaging in the long run so definitely a plus another thing that i notice a difference is in this rubber that you have on the other side that is really really important to maintain the place where your pedal hanger will be so if you look here on the table we have basically the structure 
that you are going to attach your pedal and it's going to basically move up and down on the suspension. But with time, because this rubber was slightly softer, this part here had tendency to get a little bit out of shape, creating a bit more movement on your pedal hanger. That's another improvement that I could find on the Emotion V11Y. When we talk about the suspension, I have to be completely honest with you guys, I don't see any difference, it looks exactly the same. So just when I'll be riding, I'll be able to tell you if I felt a difference or not. Also the structure where you are going to have your suspension is now in black and before it was silver. When we look to the motors, and this one is a motor from the V11, the first generation of the V11, that's a massive, massive improvement that you'll find with the V11Y. So as you can see on the version that I have on the table, so this was the first motor of my first V11, you can see that the bearing is completely completely exposed. So in that time many of us we had problems with the bearings so we had to basically 3D print something to cover them and after with time they were breaking and after you had to replace it and it was definitely not the best solution. So Emotion have come with the second generation that is the motor that you have on my other V11 that have some rubbers to cover that basically the same as the 3D printed things that I have installed on my first gen. But if you look now, it's completely covered with metal. So in other words, you have less chances that the rubber with time will change shape and slowly you'll get more and more dust going inside your bearings. So once again, this was one of the biggest issues that you could find on the first V11 and now they pass from not having any covers to having a rubber and now having a metal protection on top of your bearings. So this material now is much, much harder than the previous generation. So here is some of the pads of the V11, the first gen. And as you can see, I can push and put my finger in there. But now if I grab the new one, you can see that basically there is no movement in there. So this plastic is different. So one of the reasons why I think that they changed this part here is this bit here, that normally it had tendency to break. And the other advantage that I see in this kind of material is since this material is not so smooth, you have a better surface to attach some Velcro to put some pads. But now let's talk about one of the parts that I'm more excited to try out riding with it is about the controller. And I think that Emotion went really, really far in the last couple of years. If you think about it, this was the one that was inside a V11. The one that you see under me, that's the one from the V12. The V12 was already a first gen of the Raptor, if you think about it. And even now inside your V11, you have a new gen of the Raptor, that is the Raptor Y, so it's a another version of the Raptor that was developed for the Emotion V13. So here we have the Raptor Y, so now we understand why it's called V11Y, and I think it's because of the Raptor Y board that you have in here. This little board here is where is your Bluetooth connection and where you are going to connect all the things, like for example, your kill switch. So those type of things, they come through here. And as you can see, they have this rubberized material on the top. If we put here the old generations, we can see that it was much, much smaller. There were no rubber on the top, so it could get damaged and it was easier just to hit with one cable and have a short. So something that will not happen in there because also this main board is inside this other layer. So you will have another layer that will go on top. So it's like almost like if all of this was like a sandwich, if you want. Also, if you compare plugs, it's not even comparable. So this from the V11 and that's the one from the V11Y. So they are much more beefy and much harder to come off. Another thing that you can see that is very, very different is this part here that used to have a fan and now it's just plastic. That's also a benefit and this is possible because of the front light being different. When we look through the front, you'll see that the plastic is gone from the front. So that allows air to go from here, so from this hole and this one. So that's why the fan is not necessary. But also this change on design gives you the flexibility 
to change the position of your lens. So if you want that is pointing a little bit higher, that is the case of me, you can do it. But if you want to bring it lower so you don't blind anyone, you can do it. It's not a massive difference, but it's cool to have this adjustment in here. Another thing that they have improved is on this bit of plastic. And don't get me wrong, this is not really relevant for you to use the wheel, but was something that I didn't like it. So on the first generation, you only had two screws, but in here you have six screws. And the reason why I think that this is relevant is because on the previous generation, you have plenty of cables coming here, all in a very small area that now is much, much bigger, and you rely it just in two holes here on the middle. So in other words, you have much more stress and basically where you were screwing this part, the bulbs, they were breaking. Another improvement, even if it's small, makes a difference if you are like me and you don't like to open your wheel and find something broken. Another thing that for me was an improvement on the V11Y is the XT90. Not that you don't find this plug on your V11, but now you have this cup on the top. So to remove it is so much easier. And another thing that if you never had a V11 and or any emotion wheels that I really like is that no matter which plug you need, the plug is completely different. So you always know where to plug. So definitely a plus something that, for example, on Big God wheels is a bit more confusing and you need to take a lot of photos. So let's talk now about how was my experience to disassemble this wheel. And if I think that is an improvement compared to the V11. And I have to say to you guys that obviously this is my third V11. So I have a lot of experience with V11s and I have already disassembled also V11s for other people. I'm very confident and very comfortable to disassemble this wheel. But don't get me wrong, the V11 is maybe the most complex wheel when we talk about screws because it have too many screws. But that brings another benefit because when more screws you have, less stress you put in one bulb. Because yes, it's a lot of screws, but it's not that you have to do a lot of pressure to try to close it. Like I had the experience, for example, with the Kingston 16X. Plastic is not the best, screws are not the best. And after you are trying to put things together and they don't fit properly, and here you don't have that. Another thing that is massively different with the V11Y compared to the V11 is when you need to pull out your motherboard because on the V11, you have to also remove the front light and the back light. So it will be more screws because just on the sides of each light, you have four screws and four on the other side. So it's basically 16 screws and plus two other screws that you'll find basically on the sides of your motherboard. So here, basically, if you need to remove the lights, no problem whatsoever, you can do that, but you are not forced to do other stuff, like, for example, changing a tire. But even if this was an improvement, I think that emotion could do things different, like, for example, when we talk about changing the tire. So to change the tire, I had to remove the battery because the cable of the motor will sit behind that battery and just like that, I'll be able to pull it out. So what I was expecting is on the V11Y, they will have find a way to put the cable on top of the battery. So in that way it will be one less step for me to work on it. And when we talk about the tire, I decided to install a Michelin CT Extra. And this one is a 709014. I know many of you guys will say why you didn't install that 80, but I was really concerned about the space that I have to install the tire. And another reason why I choose a 70 and not an 80 is because since the wheel will not be so wide, the wheel will be more nimble. And since this one I want more for street and for enjoying the V11, I wanted a tire also that was slightly more narrow than, for example, the off-road tire that I have on my V11. So I'm still not able, unfortunately, to ride electric unicycles because of the injury that I've done on my knee. But I hope that this video, disassembling the wheel, changing the tire, showing you which tire I have installed and showing all these little changes, will show you that the V11 is much more than just 
a new wheel coming into the market. We are talking about a wheel that is on the market for the last, what? three years and when you go back in time and you see for example that this motor is already the fourth generation you understand that emotion is basically hearing what we say and trying to improve for the next generation so emotion if you are hearing me i would love one day to see a v11 pro and when i talk about pro i talk about the suspension because I really think that you can do better than this one. Something like we saw on the Patton or the Linux from Veteran. Imagine a V11 with that kind of suspension. And imagine if they do that V11 Pro, if it's a Pro version not coming out with just 84 volts, but slightly more. Even if I didn't write the V11Y yet, with the almost 8,000 kilometers that I have on my legs with the V11, I have big reinsurance that the V11Y will be an amazing wheel and that I'll not be disappointed how I feel it. But obviously it's still early and we'll still have to wait a little bit longer to see how this knee will be in the future and hopefully really soon I'll be able to ride electric unicycles once again. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash a thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.